blackberry.com. Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for crackberry.com. I'm going to take a quick video walkthrough of how to restore a nuked Blackberry. If you've ever seen a screen like this, we have uh, an app error 503 with a reset button. A lot of times this will be in an endless reboot cycle. You may have something different here, a little X's and crazy things that you, everyone fears seeing, but it'll be a white screen. You won't be able to get into your OS. We're going to show you what to do to fix that and get your device back up and running. So we jump into uh, File Explorer. I'm going to use a Windows PC for this. We go to Program Files, Common Files, Research in Motion, App Loader. And this will only work if you have uh, Desktop Manager and all the software installed on your computer. So you want to make sure you have the current OS for your BlackBerry device installed on the PC or, or your Mac and you'll be able to do this. So we have uh, a Verizon 8830 here, so I have the uh, Verizon released OS installed on my PC already. Um, and you'll see a file in here called Loader. We go ahead and fire that up and that'll bring you into the application Loader Wizard. Click Next from the first screen. You'll see here we have Connection and it reads blank at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and take our device and we're going to pop the battery out so the screen goes blank. Now what you're going to want to do is have your USB cable connected to your PC. As soon as you plug this in where it says connection there, it's going to be a little box that pops up. It says pin unknown. As soon as that happens, we're going to want to hit the next button. You can see right here the next button's grayed out at the moment, but as soon as we plug it in, it's going to power the device since the battery's pulled out and we're going to have a chance to catch it in the reboot cycle and you'll be able to load the OS. So we see right here now it says connecting to the device. Um, the device is on its way to booting up. Um, and if we did it correctly, then we'll see our device application selection will pop up in here. And go ahead and click next. Um, this is going to show you everything that's going to be updated, so anything that's missing on the device for whatever your error or anything like that. So we can go ahead and click finish. Now it's going to say updating the device. And while we're doing that, we want to make sure that we go ahead and throw the battery back in so that when we do eventually unplug it, it'll still keep kicking. We don't want to disconnect it at any point from this. So we can leave it for now and we'll see it's going to run through and erase all the applications and then it'll go ahead and load the OS onto the device. So we'll check back in a minute or two when that's all complete. Alright, if everything went as planned you'll get the updating your device screen. You can see here uh, the device is reset. We have the connection screen that we're connected to desktop manager. Everything is reloading. We can see down in here it's loading modules, loading application modules. So everything is updating correctly. I just have to sit tight and wait for all this to complete and the device will reboot again. Um, your LED will light up. You should get your startup splash screen for your carrier and it should load straight into the OS and you should be back up and running with a clean install of the operating system. So we'll hang tight for another couple minutes. This could take any amount of time depending on uh, the OS and the speed of the computer and the device and all that good stuff so you just wait it out and then you'll be able to see your fresh install of your operating system and your Blackberry will be up and running. Alright if everything went as planned you'll see the loading operation was successful message from the application loader and the device will have the uh, hourglass icon or in the newer OS's it'll have the progress indicator and then you'll see the splash screen for your carrier. In this case we have Verizon. Uh, you'll be brought straight back into the operating system so we won't see the uh, the app error message or whatever error message we had before. And we can see here everything has loaded successfully and we have a fresh install of the operating system. So once you get to this point you're going to have to reload all your third-party applications um, any contacts, data, all your BlackBerry Messenger info, anything like that is going to be completely erased since this is a fresh install of the operating system, but your BlackBerry device is back up and running. Uh, so you've successfully restored a nuked BlackBerry. And that's all there is to it.